like most people, have a special place in my heart for exceptional baked goods. But unlike most people, I kind of have a total nerd out obsession with baked goods. Part of this obsession is the challenge of engineering a really great bread to pair with a grilled cheese. So last summer, I quit my job and I started on a quest to find just that, the perfect bread. I love food so much that even my dog is named Sandwich. I graduated culinary school and had the honor to study under some of the best chefs in the valley. I felt confident in what I knew, but I wanted to learn the science behind it all. So I went back to school for a secondary degree in food science while working at the same time. Halfway point, I was introduced to food microbiology. I graduated from Phoenix College, and after I graduated, I asked, bugged my microbiology professor if I can do a summer internship with the question of, can I take a microorganism that produces one flavor and transfer it into bread? I did extensive research on the topic of yeast, and, but I really wasn't finding anything that was useful to my study. So off to the lab I went to start completely from scratch. I was given full access to the microbiology lab at Phoenix Community College. Also, there were three amazingly talented scientists to help me there along the way. They were there to answer any questions I had or anything like that, but it was mainly just to make sure I didn't kill myself or blow up anything like really expensive in exchange to getting to eat anything that I wanted to produce. <laughs> so I started to take yeast that I had gathered from all over the world and make sourdough starters with them. Because let's face it, sourdough bread makes the best bread cheese. <laughs> True story. When the starters were at their stinkiest, I would trick the scientists into smelling them and then laugh at the faces that they made. <laughs> they soon joined in on the fun and had other students or faculty who came down smelling them as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. When my starters were going, I started swabbing anything that contained yeast and growing them on petri dishes, even if it looked like some sort of really weird, gross alien life form. I tested different sugars and different oxygen levels to see what would work best with each type of yeast that I had. One of the challenges that I had was finding a medium that would grow just yeast on the petri plates. <clears throat> but once I, the scientist guided me in the right direction, I was really able to see all the different physical characteristics and everything about all the yeast that I had. I was also able to use a high-powered microscope to look at the yeast and take pictures. All about, had about the same colony size and shape, and, but this was still really fascinating to me. Also, I found out that if I used the city of Phoenix tap water to make my bread, it brought all sorts of gross stuff with it <laughs> that grew on the plates. So yeah, distilled water on that one is gross. So I thought my research was coming to an end. I had found everything that was best for growing yeast, keeping them alive, keeping them healthy, what best conditions, and then I was throwing a total curveball. A yeast obtained from the Middle East. This yeast looked nothing like the rest. It looked like somebody had blown their nose on a petri dish, and it had the aroma of a drunk that just burped in your face with small, sweet undertones. I had to bake this bread even under a microscope, and it looked totally different. Not the normal copobacillus shapes that are with most of the yeast that I looked at, but this large rod-looking lactobacillus possibly thing as well. Off to my kitchen I went to bake the bread. So I baked the snot bread, and I baked another regular bread, and then I brought it in for the scientists to compare. They were kind of grossed out when I told them that it was the slime bread was the best one, but it didn't matter. I found what I was looking for. So. I figured out what I wanted to learn. I was able to find the best bread to pair with my grilled cheese. <laughs> Culinary arts and science have come together to help me with this study. And now the only thing left for me to do is find something else to obsess over. Thank you. Yeah.